Um, what I want to run through with you today is uh, I want to answer some questions that have been posed um, on the website. Uh, and the first of those is to do with what's in this bag. This is rock dust. Now, rock dust is something that I've been asked about two or three times. Is rock dust good to add to your garden? Does it add all those vital trace elements and minerals that you're looking for? And rock dust itself is quite expensive. You know, it's going to cost you about £15 plus postage and packing, so £20 for a couple of kilos. And when you read the gum, it's 75 million, 750, sorry, million years old. It contains 75 trace elements. Uh, you know, 20 kilos will cover 40 square yards. So we thought we'd better talk about it. Now, in this bag is rock dust, this miracle product. I should introduce this gentleman to my, my left. This is Ben, this is uh, my youngest son. He's studying geochemistry. Uh, so he's going to actually chat to me, or I'm going to chat to him about what this miracle sort of thing is. What is rock dust then? What, what's this that we're looking at? Um, this rock dust is probably ground granite, which is made up of quartz, mica and feldspar. So it is 750 million years old. Oh yeah, quite and, it, easily. and it's sort of you know, so it comes out, it can come out of volcanoes, and it would contain. Yeah. I mean, how can it contain 75 trace elements? Um, well, most of those elements are just things attached to the outside of the crystal grains, really. Oh right, so it's yeah. not 75 separate. You know, we don't need 75 when we're growing plants. You know, the way it's put over every one of those is essential, and obviously it's not. No. Um, just from reading about it. It says do not add lime to these, and the only thing you wouldn't add lime to is calcium. So there's probably about 40 different things of calcium in there. Oh, so, so of the 75, 40 of calcium? Probably. Oh, right. Different That's calcium. intriguing. Um, so of this pile, what percentage are going to be trace elements in here that is what we need? Probably less than 1%. So, so less than 1% of the whole is a trace element. And the rest is what? Just literally the rock or quartz, which is... is quartz is an uh, The first one maker will... Uh, be dissolved into your soil, but that, as they're clay minerals, they're not particularly useful for plants. Right. And so even when it's this fine, it's still going to take a while to break down and dissolve, yep. to, to be useful to a plant on that microscopic level. Yeah, all of it will need to break down really. So really, in a lot of ways, it's probably as useful, you know, to, to use, um, to improve drainage as much as anything. Yeah, it's probably very good for drainage. Um, right. So, so what, I'll let you into a secret. I use a lot of this. This is, you know, granite dust. Uh, and I get it from one of my local quarries, which I'm very fortunate. But rather than paying £20 for two kilos, I pay about £9 for one and a half tonnes. Uh, so if you want to use it, if you want to get access to all these trace elements and you want to use um, sort of volcanic dust and sort of brick dust or ground dust or whatever you want to call it, you're probably better going to your local builder's merchants and buying a 25 kilo bag for probably five pounds and even that's expensive. Uh, the other option, would you say so something like calcified seaweed which break down much faster? Calcified seaweed would break down faster, shells of any kind, eggshells that from your breakfast probably be better if you just cr crush them. Mm -hmm. Crush them at the because they'll break down much faster, they'll break down into calcium. So there you go. This is called, you know, post-rationalisation bullshit, guys. You're being sold sand, you're being told it's a miracle, you're being charged an awful lot for basically 99% improving your drainage. My advice, like I say, I use this a lot. If you want to improve your drainage, and it will give you some mineral content, use it by all means. If you want to just add those trace elements, much, much better to use calcified seaweed, and there is a post on the website purely about calcified seaweed and what benefits that can give you. Thank you very much Benjamin, I'm glad that one of us in the family is clever enough to understand what a geochemist does.